Hey everybody, in today's video I want to talk about TMR exercises, uh, which is short for total motion release, and how those exercises actually work. So I've got some other videos that I made probably a couple years ago. Uh, there's TMR video one, which talks about the first two exercises, which are arm raises and trunk twists. And then I've got TMR video two, is about uh, the next two exercises, which involves some leg, uh, leg lifts and then some sit to stands. But I really wanted to go in a little bit deeper to help you understand when those exercises work, why is it working, and what can you do to make it work even better? So I've got, again, a few uh, videos already in this uh, series. I just wanted to round it out and really help you understand what's going on. So I'm going to use um, the first exercise as our kind of our baseline example. So what happens a lot of times is I'll get a client in the clinic and they've got shoulder pain. Um, so probably like rotator cuff pain, could be tendonitis, could be tendinosis. A lot of times then, you know, you get pain up into like your neck, shoulder area. Uh, but the issue mainly is let's say they just can't raise their arm up. So they're going to raise their arm and all they can do is get it up here, you know, so they're getting it up to say like less than shoulder height. Real painful, you get pain in the shoulder, you get pain down the arm, again, up the neck, headache, whatever it may be. And so with that first TMR exercise, what we do then is say, okay, that's the quote unquote bad side. You can't lift your arm in that movement pattern. Let's say it's straight in front of you. So what we're gonna see now then is your other arm, so my right arm here, can you lift that arm smoothly? And they say, yeah, I can. I can lift that one all the way up, no problem at all, no shoulder pain, no neck pain, very smooth, comfortable movement pattern. Again, no stiffness, no pain, no irritation, no weird funky things, no hitch in their giddy up or anything like that. So then we say, the bad side has this movement pattern that's painful, limited, not working very well. The good side has a really smooth, nice, pain-free movement pattern. Now what we're gonna do then with those exercises, we take that asymmetry uh, and we're gonna focus not on the bad side, we're gonna focus on the good side. So with the good side, I might have my client do um, like 20 arm raises, uh, the same exact motion that we're having difficulty with on the bad side, I'm going to have them do it on the good side repetitively. So I'll say do 20 arm raises um, and do it fairly quickly, you know, smooth, quick. Don't think about it too much. Just do it 20 times. Um, if they're pretty strong, I might even add like a two pound weight or like a small can of soup. So it's a little more difficult. So we're going to go nice, smooth, pretty good speed. It's not slow and controlled like a lot of things we do in, in physical therapy. So that's what we're going to do on the good side. Okay, do a set of 20, now rest. Okay, shake it out, feel good. Um, let's do the good side one more time, another set of 20. 20 arm raises on this side with two pounds, nice smooth pattern, no pain, no discomfort, great. Okay, immediately after I have them do the second set of 20, I go back to the bad side and I say, try raising it now. And a lot of times what will happen is they'll just go like this and whoop, the arm goes straight overhead. Now, it may not be 100% as good or as perfect or as smooth as the other side, but it's significantly better. And the coolest part is we haven't done anything with the bad side. We didn't try to work through pain. We didn't do any fancy hands-on manual therapy type skills. We simply took advantage of the good side. So that happens a lot with patients, especially with shoulder pain. So if you're dealing with shoulder pain, try it out. It's really cool. Um, try two sets of 20, like I said, and if you get a small result, uh, it works a little bit. Don't be too discouraged. Do two sets of 20 again, and usually the result will be even better after the second set. So that's, again, the common example I see with clients. Now, we can apply that example to almost any single movement pattern in your body. All we're doing is following the same process. We're saying a movement pattern in this direction, let's say twisting to your left, is really difficult, painful, stiff, doesn't feel right, but the exact same movement pattern to the opposite direction feels really good. And instead of trying to work through the bad side, we work the good side and then we just retest and see how it worked. So it's a really simple model to go through. You just have to have an understanding of how to tweak it as you go and how to adjust it as you go too. But again, in this video, I wanna explain a little more about how it works. So the main reason that this works and again, let's go back to our shoulder example. You've got a bad movement pattern on this side due to pain, injury, muscle weakness, tightness, all these things. But on this side, you've got a good movement pattern. So what we're gonna take advantage of then is the fact that the movement patterns are stored in the base of your brain. It's kind of like a computer program. So basically you're saying the program we're trying to access for this movement pattern is we wanna lift the arm in the air. We're lifting it in the air in this certain direction. That's the program we're trying to get to the brain. Now on the bad side, that program has become 
uh, hard to reach or there's been a new program that's replaced it because of the long-standing pain, stiffness, weakness, all those things. So the movement pattern that this side is now using the bad side is no longer a great movement pattern and it's not connecting to the good movement pattern. So all we're doing then by exercising the good side is we're having really quick access, good strong access to that movement program, that pattern in your brain, and we're using it repeatedly on the good side. Using it, using it, using it. Now, since that pattern is freshly being used in your brain, if you can immediately go back to the other side, the other side has a chance to just grab it and use it. And that's the beauty of total motion release or TMR is that it's, it's basically a neurological concept. Neurological meaning it's going through your nerves and your brain. Um, so you have this beautiful neurological concept. We call it overflow a lot of times where you say you can use this program, this very good, smooth, coordinated movement program on this side and then just cue it up in your brain, in your computer, and then it'll overflow to the other side. So that's what you do. That's how TMR works in a nutshell. Um, there's some other, I think, ideas and ways that TMR actually works when you look at, okay, you're moving the muscles in comfortable patterns, you're moving the joints in comfortable patterns, and instead of trying to move through difficult, like say the facet joints in your back are locked, instead of trying to push them through and unlock them, you're just going the exact opposite direction. So it could be more of an effect directly on the joints themselves the muscles themselves, uh, the fascia. So I think all of those things actually are working, but one of the easiest things to put your finger on is that neurological overflow concept. And that's what seems to really work best for a lot of our clients that are doing TMR. And I think it's one of the coolest parts about it because you it, it allows you to do things from home. Uh, basically just saying all I'm looking for with all of these different movement patterns that I can test arm raises, trunk twists, leg raises, other three-dimensional movement patterns you can test. If you can find an asymmetry from your left side to your right side, you can use that to your advantage by working the good side, the easier side. And then you find the asymmetry, you, you work to the good side, and then you retest and see if things got better. So it's a really simple uh, idea to follow, process to follow, and it can really have some really positive results. So um, I get a lot of people watching my videos who don't have a whole lot of access to like skilled PTs or chiropractors or um, other physicians who work with like movement and things like that. So this is a great way for you to kind of do some self-assessment and try to treat yourself. So I hope that video helps. I think sometimes just having the underlying concept fresh in your brain as to why it helps makes it work even better because you know it's not like voodoo or magic. There actually is something very um, scientific going on that you can put your finger on. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to link some of the other TMR videos here. If you haven't already seen those, work through them. Leave me as many questions or comments as you'd like. I always, uh, as for now, I always um, can respond to those comments and help you kind of work your way through them. And if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll continue putting out good stuff as long as people seem to be watching. So that's it for today. Thanks again. Bye.